is how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. I like how you're laughing too. <laughs> well, it's funny. Uh, one man's journey cheers. Last year you offered detractors and your ex-fans an olive branch. Do you think the detractors took the olive branch? Because I've noticed you are getting more viewers on both YouTube and Twitch. You're becoming more popular regardless of the detractors and YouTube effort to hurt your livelihood. Um, like everything, like everything, I think that some people did take advantage or some people at least took the advantage to maybe check out the streams legitimately rather than just shitting on them. And then others just can't be, can't be dissuaded from doing their heinous acts, you know, like... There's some people who have acknowledged that I am getting better, that I don't really do the negative things that people have made fun of me for and or tried to slander me about over the years anymore. I've changed for the better in a lot of ways. But then there's people who are just like, well, I don't care how he changes. I just want to punish him for some crazy obscure thing that he did in 2009 or something. You know, there's nothing you can do. You can't please all the people all the time. I know that a few people did obviously take advantage. Like every day I get people coming in and saying, man, you know, Phil, I come by and I checked out your stream because after seeing all the negative videos about you, I just wanted to see the truth. And when I watch your stream, it's not true at all. It's ridiculous how people say this stuff, you know. Oh, yeah, Phil's an e-beggar. Phil's just a, one of the worst e-beggars. Disgusting beggar. Phil's always been a beggar. You know, a lot of people today criticize me and they say, Phil, you advertise too much on your pre-streams. Phil... Every once in a while, you have to ask for help from your stream viewers. Why are you an e-beggar? Why don't you do that? I would have never been in this position if it weren't for the shit that happened to my YouTube channel. But he just a plug segment like everyone at the beginning of every stream, and then he just goes into his gameplay and doesn't even plug anything ever again, so what the hell are people talking about? That's what I mean, but, you know, <clears throat> it's true. It's just, you know, it's slander, and, you know, they do it because they get jollies out of it, and they get attention for it. Let's face it, they wouldn't be doing it if they weren't getting attention out of it, right? Um... So like everything, some people I think did take advantage of it, some people didn't. The bottom line is I don't really bring this shit up, I don't care, you know, I don't care about it. I don't want to hear about negative stuff about me or anything, I just continue on positively with my own stuff and don't give a shit about any of the negative, you know, so it is what it is. Um, I was yelling and screaming and saying, it's all your fault and you gotta, you know, send me freaking, you know, funds and stuff. It was just me saying, you want videos on YouTube? Pledge to Patreon. You know, I, 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 I still leave it at that, that if people would just kind of lay off on the stupid negative slanderous shit, you know, I, I don't care about it and I'm not going to bring it up. But then you've got people who call my high school and ask them, is it true that I was the valedictorian when I graduated because they think I'm a liar? And then you got people who have conspiracy theories like, oh, Phil really didn't have his internet out for a day and a half. What he did was he just took that time off to go, go on a staycation with Kat at a hotel. He paid for a hotel with all the money that he had made over the last month from people like Tutankhamen who were being so nice to him and generous. He blew all that money on a hotel and had a staycation with Kat. It's like... What the fuck are you idiots talking about? You're that, they're this crazy. Like, they're actually this nuts that they literally just make this shit up. And out of nothing and nowhere and not a single piece of factual evidence, they just make that shit up and spread it around as fact. This conjecture, this defamation and slander, it's nonsense. But this is what they do on a daily basis. So yeah, even though I definitely believe some people kind of did come, come, a lot of people have said this year is kind of a, a, an awakening year for me where people realize, wow, Phil's not as bad as people say he is and they've come and checked out the stuff and it's led to a lot of support. And I appreciate that. At the same time, the people who are just that long gone are going to be that long gone no matter what. And they're going to make shit up and do nasty stuff no matter what. Okay. <clears throat> All right. One man's journey cheered again. He says, a girl I like, I'm scared of asking her out. Can you give me some tips? Uh, no. I'm not a love guru. I like to seduce a girl with my eyes. My disgusting eyes. Ugh. I've had luck in my life with women. 
girls liked me because I was a nice guy and I would be very friendly to girls. I was respectful of women. I wasn't a sexist pig or I wasn't, you know, drooling all over them. But because I was the nice guy, I finished last. You know, a lot of the times in school, the girls would want to be friends with me, but they wouldn't ever want to, you know, advance it past that level. And I'm not here to give you dating advice, sorry. Okay, uh, Rave Comic is here today, and he cheered, and says, Hey, Phil, do you, do you, do you think you brought staycations to the mainstream? <laughs> yes. Before me, no one ever knew what a staycation was. It's just, it's just another meme, dude. It's just another stupid fucking meme that my detractors have spun, uh, you know. All I can taste is the saltiness. Every single time that... So, that I'm not streaming or I'm not working on my normal schedule. Phil must have went on a staycation. He's like, you are an idiot. <laughs> Waka Mizanzibar cheered and says, I bet you that kids are going to dress up as one of those Fortnite characters for Halloween. Oh, oh, I guarantee it. Guess what? You know, we went to two, like I said, we went to some Halloween stores yesterday. Oh, they, they have Fortnite costumes. I forgot to take a picture. Next time we go back, because we will be back, I will take pictures. But they have a giant section for Fortnite costumes. Because it's the fad. It's the stupid fad for the year. And guess what every kid's going to want to be? Fortnite. Because it's the, the kitty fad for the year. Adults are, don't care about that shit. It's all the kitties. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the PewDiePie syndrome. Hello, hello, and welcome. Oh, the camera's on. <laughs> Cue the Seinfeld. <laughs> PewDiePie got virally popular on YouTube because little kids watched his shit. Ninja is virally popular because little kids watch him play Fortnite and then play it themselves. Like, that's what it is. That's the fad. I don't know, I don't know how game companies don't figure this out. I mean, I'll be honest, just like any other normal human, yes, am I jealous of certain people and of people who are successful and whatever? Of course I am. Of course I'm going to have jealousy. That's a natural human emotion for those who have more than you. You're always going to have that natural kind of jealousy of those who maybe have, you know, been more successful or things like that. Like, seriously, like, oh, let's run advertising on that content. But it doesn't make any money because no one buys anything when they watch an ad on that because it's little kids and they don't have money. But I don't know. Whatever. Uh, Gunga Door Cheers is talking about Ninja. How do you feel about him being on his month's magazine cover for ESPN's Biggest Gamer in the World? Do you think gaming will have less of a negative connotation in the public? First of all, I disagree with that statement. He's not the biggest gamer in the world. He's a gamer who jumped on a hype train and got popular because of it. Most people don't even know I have a 10-year legacy on YouTube. Most people don't know I did videos on YouTube for two years before I ever made any money. And I actually have outlived a lot of YouTubers and or... I've been doing this much longer than most people who do it for a living. Most people don't know that I'm the most prolific gaming YouTuber there is. I've put out more gameplay videos, playthroughs, and hours of gameplay in the last 10 years than any other human on planet Earth. Free! And just because someone plays a single stream with Drake and gets sponsorship opportunities that a bunch of kids watch him, doesn't mean he's the biggest gamer in the world. I would think, I, I mean, I'm, I'm just being honest, PewDiePie was, was much more popular than Ninja when he was popular, like, at his height. So I don't know what the hell they think that they're doing with that. Maybe they just didn't like PewDiePie or whatever because there's some controversial content that he put out. It's just a fad. Here's what ESPN's trying to do. Oh, we need to get the, the attention of all these gamers now because we realize that, uh, you know, it ain't so profitable to just talk about other kinds of sports. So now let's actually, all these years we ignored esports, let's pretend like they're big now and uh, let's just get Ninja on our cover. Um, uh, listen, I got nothing wrong with Ninja. Fuck you, you're a liar. You know, I don't know anything about the guy personally, but I just think it's a bunch of crap. You know, it's a bunch of uh, people capitalizing on situations. Oh my God, we've got a video game that's become virally popular with all the kids because it's free and looks like a cartoon and all the kids are playing and talking about it. Now is our opportunity to get their big idol on our, our magazine and now maybe people will read our fucking magazine again. <laughs> what, what else is the point? You know what I mean? It's obvious that's what they're doing. People who read ESPN magazine don't give a fuck about video games. So they're obviously trying to jump into another market base by doing this, okay? My content is not catered towards kids. It never has been, and it never will be. Kids are idiots. Kids are complete idiots. Do you know there's, like, a guy in, uh, our group right now who's, like, streaming this whole thing? He's sort of, like, semi-famous? <laughs> oh, yeah, I think that's Fuckside Phil. He I'm was the guy that got caught for masturbating in front of children. Yeah, yeah, so he, he was caught masturbating. I think he's like 35 <laughs> years old. Oh my god. Yeah, he was masturbating in front of children. That's on right. On YouTube. Yeah. Live stream. Hilarious. 
He's like he's a huge pervert you. or something. I think he's a pervert. That's right, I'm a huge pervert, guys. That's all I do. I just masturbate constantly in front of children. You're absolutely right. That's <laughs> what I'm known for. You got exposed for doing that. That's, I got pro that's completely like... exposed. Absolutely. You, you did. Oh. You didn't I even know, know the camera was on. You know, you know every inch of you know every inch of my dick and balls. Are you the guy? You know every inch of my dick and balls. It's the guy <laughs> watching his Twitch. Is that really him? Is he the yes. one that got caught, Matt? Yes. Really? He was the guy that got caught masturbating in front of children. I think he's like thirty. That's like in his thirties right right or something. He's in his thirties and he did that in front of children. That's right. Yes, uh, but I'm, I've seen on so purpose. much. I'm, I'm a fan. What? I don't know what to say. <laughs> of course, of course, and I did it on purpose. That's why I'm still on Twitch and I'm still on YouTube and not banned, right? Yeah. So uh, you didn't get banned. You didn't get fired from any MCNs or anything, right? No. You didn't get fired from the cinema. No. 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 No, I didn't. No. Oh, you didn't. No. You didn't get released. And what about Laveria? Laveria? Oh my they god. They dropped you. They no, they didn't. They when they found out <laughs> that video. What pasta do you prefer? I prefer a penne. Oh! Easy to eat. Oh! Phil's a faggot. Phil's fat. Phil's a loser. Phil's a beggar. Phil's a racist. Phil's a scammer. DSP's a pedophile. DSP is a thief. DSP is a greedy fuck. What's going this on? guy's a bitch. I have a micro penis. <laughs> Alright, I'm not dead, but I swear to God, I wish I fucking was.